Well, Shakespeare is getting a new home in Brooklyn. New York One's Roger Clark takes us there. Hard to tell now, but this construction site will soon make way for a new theater where audiences will watch the plays of Shakespeare and other classical works. It will be home to the theater for a new audience. We have never had a place. Uh, we have had work. We finally have a place in a community. On Monday, the company and its supporters celebrated the halfway point of construction on the building. It will be the first permanent home for the theater group since its founding 33 years ago. The 299-seat theater is being built in the heart of a growing cultural district surrounding the Brooklyn Academy of Music. For us, the excitement of the development of downtown Brooklyn, both as a cultural center, um, the downtown Brooklyn Cultural District, and there being more than 50 arts groups in downtown Brooklyn, and the concentration that that gives us is thrilling to us. The $62.5 million project is being paid for with a mix of city, state, and private funding. It's the first theater devoted to the classics to be built in the city in more than four decades. The Vivian Beaumont Theater at Lincoln Center was the last theater built for classical drama in New York City. That was 1965. Among those on hand celebrating was actor F. Murray Abraham, who has performed with the company several times. I think it's a... Uh... This is so thrilling. I mean, this is great. In this economy, to be able to put this together is phenomenal. One big challenge to building on this location is the subway runs practically underneath it. The front two-thirds is actually sitting, all sitting on eight-inch thick rubber pads, if it's hard to believe, but it's true. Like, the whole thing is kind of floating on pads. Then the back of the building is separated by two inches, so it actually doesn't even touch the front of the building at all. So all the vibrations from the subway kind of die in the rubber pads before they get into the auditorium. The curtain is expected to go up here in just over a year. In Brooklyn, Roger Clark, New York One.